Greetings, friends. When you hear the term camp meeting, what comes to your mind? Depending what part of the world you are in, you might be thinking of tents and sawdust, or trees and lakes, or some other beautiful outdoor setting. You probably are also remembering warm fellowship with other believers, inspiring messages, and uplifting music. You may even be thinking of your own baptism or that of a loved one or friend. As many thousands of baptisms have taken place at camp meetings around the world. In any case, the idea of camp meeting brings back fond memories for many people and has been sorely missed during this past year as the coronavirus shut down all such gatherings. This year, however, I have great news. There will be an Adventist virtual global camp meeting that no virus can shut down. It's free and open to everyone around the world and will begin next week on Wednesday, May 19, and will continue through Sunday, May 23. Well, this camp meeting will be somewhat different from the past. The Adventist Virtual Global Camp Meeting brings the entire world church together to worship, to be inspired, and to learn. This event showcases the incredible breadth and depth of Adventist ministries around the globe. It will feature hundreds of presentations, seminars, and workshops in discipleship, education, health ministries, media, missions, and theology. There will be roundtable discussions with church leaders and continuing education credits for pastors and teachers. Amazingly, there will even be a cutting-edge exhibit hall where you can visit the booths or exhibits of numerous Adventist organizations who will be sharing their resources for mission. And best of all, it's free. The Adventist Virtual Global Camp Meeting will have programming centered on three major regions, the Asia Pacific area, the European African area, and the Americas. Seminars will be scheduled for convenient access from time zones around the world. All you have to do is go to campmeeting.com to register. It's completely free. You know, friends, camp meetings of a sort have been around for a very long time. As God's people gathered together for spiritual instruction, refreshment, and encouragement. In Testimonies to the Church, Volume 6, we read the following. Anciently, the Lord instructed His people to assemble three times a year for His worship. To these holy convocations, the children of Israel came, bringing to the house of God their tithes, their sin offerings, and their offerings of gratitude. They met to recount God's mercies, to make known His wonderful works, and to offer praise and thanksgiving to His name. And they were to unite in the sacrificial service which pointed to Christ as the Lamb of God. Thus, they were to be preserved from the corrupting power of worldliness and idolatry. And speaking of camp meetings in a more modern era, Ellen White wrote, The camp meeting is one of the most important agencies in our work. It is one of the most effective methods of arresting the attention of the people and reaching all classes with the gospel invitation. She continues, And our camp meetings have another object preparatory to this. They are to promote spiritual life among our own people. God has committed to our hands a most sacred work, and we need to meet together to receive instruction that we may be fitted to perform 
this work. While we may not be able to gather physically together, God has provided a way that we can meet together electronically, and His Spirit is not bound. As we watch and worship together, He can still reach into each heart, into each home, bringing to each person the message He knows they need to hear. I hope you'll plan on joining us and inviting your friends and family to the Adventist Virtual Global Camp Meeting to be held beginning next Wednesday. Just go to campmeeting.com to learn more. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, thank you for wanting to be with your people from the very beginning of time, walking in the quietness of the evening in the Garden of Eden to spend time with Adam and Eve. And now down to our day, you long to be in fellowship with us. So Lord, bless the camp meeting, this global virtual camp meeting. Help it to be a blessing to people all over the world so that they can be revived, to be reformed, to be energized, to say, yes, Lord, I will go. I will be part of the last proclamation of your precious three angels' messages. Lord, we want you to come. Thank you for providing this opportunity to learn more during this virtual global camp meeting. Now, Lord, bless each one who will be attending and each one who is hearing and viewing this right now. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen.